Alright guys, I am back, and I am motivated. Firebird here, episode 3, FTL. Uh, just had a bit of a disappointing end to what was going really well with Sector 1, um, but I am determined to get these two achievements, so um, let's get this run underway. If we have another terrible run, I'm probably going to consider just smashing out an easy run, seeing how we go with that. Um, but we'll, we'll assess after this. Um, pretty determined to, to show you guys that I'm not terrible at this game. So they're trying to get out of here already. Um, so we'll switch and target their... I'm glad that missed. We'll target their engines now. Um, pretty safe the missile, I reckon. Despite having two like pretty disappointing runs, um, actually feeling really good. Um, I've sort of got my groove back, believe it or not. <laughs> if that doesn't look like it, and you're probably thinking, Firebird, you've got no groove at all. Um, we'll see. Time will tell. I'll show. Um, I'll, I'll prove the haters wrong. Give me, give me a couple more runs, I reckon. And I'll be like at my peak, but I still think this is going okay. I know what I need to do, um, I'm just not necessarily doing it. I mean, the end of that second run was pretty rookie level, just completely forgetting to, um, completely forgetting that, uh, did we get that kill? Yeah, I saw the, uh, the boarding thing flashing. Um, completely forgetting that if you jumped into the range, like ahead of the, the orange, the, where the, where the rebels were coming, that they would already be there when I got there. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. You watched the last video, I assume. That's why you're here on episode three. Um, but yeah, I mean, that that was just a rookie mistake. There's, there's nothing else to, nothing else you can really call it. Um, that that showed signs of someone who hasn't played. But I have played, just not for a while. The good thing about FTL is I find it's a game I can come back to um, pretty regularly. Like I, I, I never just crank it for months at a time. It's obviously whoa, whoa, whoa. It's obviously not that kind of game. Um, I mean, the kind of game that I would play for months. Let me think. In my gaming history, what are the games I've played for that long? Um, StarCraft 2 comes to mind. I've played, like, so much StarCraft 2. Uh, what was the year after that? Probably Modern Warfare 2 uh, on PlayStation 3. Smash that out. Um, try to think. After that, probably League of Legends on and off for a couple of years. Um, I play sports games a fair bit. This is all on console. Um, and then I just I go through what's popular on Steam. I go through um, you know what everyone seems to be playing. Um, I buy more games than I intend to play, like everyone else. I assume that's, that's normal, right? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean the the game I would probably. The two games I've probably sunk the most time into ever would have to be StarCraft 2 and uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, even though they're like completely different kinds of games with completely different communities. Um, it's just kind of the way they, they fell. They, they both attracted me in different ways. Um, I love the the grind of StarCraft 2, like the laddering system. These guys are trying to jump. Got to, um, the laddering, I love watching, like you could download pro replays. Anyone who's not familiar with StarCraft, you could download pro replays watch them like take take second notes like down to the second down to the minute so i'd be like okay like two minutes they put a pile on where did they put it i would just like religiously study um what these koreans mostly koreans were doing um and and try to implement that on ladder and it was great when you would like it would take you a few games to um sort of execute it even remotely close to what they did um, but when you would and you would start to see your improvement and you would see them panic because you were trying to do something that they've never seen before was was great um, you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader he owes you and offers you labor for cheap look 26 even though it's a human it's not going to help our achievement <sighs> or do we take the risk and attack him and hope he'll surrender and offer us a different slave I don't know whether he will um, do we want to take that risk? I think we do, because I'm really, really keen on getting these achievements, um, and I don't think we're going to have the best chance doing that with four humans right off the bat. So let's attack him. He boarded a mantis, so they do have other races on there, but are they just like the crew, or will they actually have others for me? Let's find out. 
Okay, so we're gonna take it because it's free. Um, save me 26. Is this guy gonna stay or leave? No, he's gonna leave. Okay, so that was good. I mean, down the track, if we're close to that achievement, um, I'll just flick one of these humans off, whoever's the weakest. Uh, this dude, this new Oni, can come be our shield guy. And we'll move on to the next beacon. Um, and then Modern Warfare 2, I just, I played with so many mates. Like, I had, like, everyone, everyone I knew was playing it. Um, we're all on PlayStation 3, which is good. Another group of slavers, so this could be really good if we can get our crew to 5. Um, and, yeah, just... I don't know, jumping on each night and, and playing with either like a best mate or someone I don't talk to that much, like it, I, I could play with either because it was just easy, um, games were quick, games were, were fun, um, and yeah, you know, next thing I knew I'd pressed these a bunch of times and it's really good, really good. Uh, are we going to get a, yes, we are, perfect. Uh, so where do we want this guy? Um, probably on sense, I guess. So yeah, that's it. Um, and I'm trying to think what else I would have played that much. I'm probably missing a few. I'll probably in a couple of videos be like, oh yeah, that's right. I used to play this all the time. Um, that's really annoying because we could. Um, I've got nothing to sell. I would love to get. We could get a, a third race cranking already, and a, a sixth crew member. We'd be pretty unstoppable, especially if I can get. Because Mantis is really good at fighting. If I could pick up a Mantis here and then a boarding uh, system later on and just send them on for little raids and stuff, that would be fun. I feel like this could be fun. But how are we going to get this three scrap? <sighs> this is tricky because I'll, we're not going to get anything here in terms of scrap. Distress beacons don't... They can give you a quest which means you get a reward later, but if we go here, we... We're getting pretty close to leaving. Can I do the distress beacon? And hope it's why I hope it's a trap hatch, then we can just fight. Counted a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. Result in ship. Okay. This is okay, we'll get a bit of scrap for this. If we can pick up like a boarding um, system early. I hate these super shields. We can pick up a boarding system early and just send these madnesses in. I mean, like, look at this situation. There's just two of them, and they're weak because it's old hands. Um, you know, we'd really have a chance at, at, at just capturing ships, and you don't capture it as such. But if you wipe out everyone on it, you get a huge scrap bonus, um, and you can kind of snowball that into like a really OP run just because you pick up all that extra scrap early. Um, I reckon that's going to be the plan. What do we get here? Uh, Two missiles, 14 scrap, and a drone part, another 7 scrap, two, mi uh, 2 fuel and a missile. So now we can jump back to this store, and we can go here, here, leave. That's going to be okay. Um, so let's grab that little mantis, and... I got battery. That's 30 second power boost to your reactor. Mm, no, 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 stick to the plan. Nick Lang, welcome aboard. Um, we short on anything. Could get a missile. Get a missile and fix our hole. So I'm really happy we're up to six crew. Uh, heavily damaged Federation ship. Oh, if they're heavily damaged, let's follow and help them. Search is hopeless, okay. Um, I want to seek this guy like here. I think boarding will go down there, but let's just keep him here for now. I want him in the middle anyway, because all he's going to do is defend against borders in the meantime. Another distress beacon. So we've got here. I'm pretty sure this is always a trap. Like, always, you always lose a crew member. Um, so I'm just going to not do that. Mm, we're going to get nothing for jumping to the store, even though we could do it. So let's just get out of here. Good first sector. Um, full health, six crew. Um, we've got a Mantis, so I kind of want to go to a rock, because if we can collect another rock, we'd be up to our fourth race, so let's do that. We've got to go to a hostile one anyway, so that might as well be the rock one. What have we got? A hook around there. Yes. Let's go there, there, stress. 
Okay, we're in danger. Be alright. Now we have boarding. Um, we got our sensors pretty high. Got one one bar of shield. We shouldn't take any damage here. And this is where we'll, we'll start to get more scrap, obviously, because we're in the second sector. Um, I reckon it'd be a really good idea to upgrade our shields next. Assuming we're not near a store and we can't get the boarding, I'm going to save the missile. Um, assuming we can't get the boarding component, I reckon it would make the most sense. Oh, they're really trying to get these shields up. Uh, it would make the most sense for us to get a second level shield, just we've got so many crew. Like that seems it seems to be our weakness because for all the repairing they can do, it's not really going to matter if we're just taking bulk damage from only having one shield. So 25 scraps good, uh, a missile, the one that we used, and two, um, two fuel, that's good. A bit more scrap here, um, and we'll be sort of halfway where we need to be for our uh, for our upgrade on shields. The Curious Sight grid you got the beacon, a disabled rock freighter drift in space or two mantis craft battle it out. Presumably over here gets spoils. Okay, so we should be able to save a rock man here. Um, maybe pick one up, I don't know, or we'll get a reward. So let's wait and then attack him. They're boarding. No, it's okay. They get the shield, they get the weapons. Uh, hopefully take, I don't know, one or two bars of damage to Tobbs. See how we go. One. Yeah, I mean... Save the missile. If they get the shields up in time, I'll just pop the second one and we'll take him out. Um, but he doesn't look anywhere near repairing it. Yep. In the time he took to eliminate the rock must have repaired and jumped away. Uh oh. He picked the bones of both mounted vessels. Two fuel, two missiles, 26 scrap. Okay, I would have loved to get a rock there, but that's okay. Okay, you find the source of a distress call. Uh, fire suppression system is not responding. Send your crew in a shuttle to put out the fire. Definitely not. After that first run, that horror first run, I'm not trusting any of these uh, crew sending away options. I'm, I'm just a little paranoid now. Let's dock and try to rescue the survivors. 13 scrap, 4 damage. Um, so, 2 scrap per repair, so it's going to cost 8 to fix that, so we're 5 up, I guess. Um, but we didn't save anyone, but that's okay. I really didn't want to take the risk. Oh, I should have waited. I didn't realize that our shields were down. You encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew member explains that the rock home world is run on large propaganda that keeps the populace in check and they don't want part of it. Tell them that God sent them here to join your crew. Promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. I honestly have no idea. I feel like one of these options is going to give us a rock member. Um, I feel like they're not going to believe the top one. Let's try and share with them the truths they've been denied. They seem tempted, but they can't risk being lied to again. They close and jump away. Okay, I feel like because we saw their health and everything, if we went for the top one, they would have attacked us. So, mm, am I happy? I don't know. I would have liked to get an extra crew member, but that's okay. The bent out hull of a rock mine layer drifts by. Behind the wreck drifts a live mine, an automated drone that drills into ship's holes before exploding. It looks under your ship signature and heads your way. Great. Um, send someone out there to defuse it or attempt a control detonation. We're taking damage here, but we're we're up. We're net up on. Um, I don't know if net up even makes sense, but it sort of it does in my head. Um, in terms of scrap. We're fine, as long as we get to a store, which there is one in the next jump, um, we'll be able to heal this up and, and maybe pick up... Let's do one more... Yeah, let's go there, 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 there. Okay. I reckon we're going to have like 100 scrap when we hit the store, which is going to be really good. We can either get boarding or another... Um, I'm going to ignore it because I'd rather see what the store has to offer first. Crew teleporter, that's what we need. Um, but we're not going to have enough. So let's pick up. We want a rock man or a Zoltan. A Zoltan is probably going to be better considering um, we haven't upgraded our reactor at all. So let's get Jax, because Jax sounds pretty cool. Um, we can almost all but heal. So we'll do that too. This is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crew, and one, two, three, four different races. So, 
we pick up a, a, a fifth race, then we might look at booting a human. Um, let's put you there, unless you're good at shield. You how have you not leveled up any? You haven't got any experience in shield. Let's put the Zoltan on shield, um, and you can man the doors, which gives us level two doors, blast doors. Okay, this is good. Uh, let's save positions here and move on pretty happy with the seven crew it's gonna be great once we start boarding and we've got seven missiles as well so we're gonna be able to take this guy down pretty quickly i'm upset we haven't picked up a rock man yet in the rock sector but we're not done with it yet who knows that's disappointing um gonna need those level two shields Pop a second missile, and I reckon just let it charge up and not use it again. The laser should be able to just about take this down. It's going to be close though whether the shields come up in time. No, we're good. 7 inch guard, a fuel, and a drone part. Pretty, pretty weak, but it's okay. We only took one damage. Okay, another rock scout. Same, same, but different. Uh, Cleric to power and evasion. Dodge 10. A little bit of a faster charge time too. Whoa, that looks big. Uh, shield stopped it. Uh, let's save the missile. Both of these are down. Keep hammering shield, I reckon. I want to hit the duck off and get health. I'm not sure if it's over. They got fire, but they're rockmen, so they don't really care. But we're about to wipe out one of the crew anyway when this hits again. You can go back at this FTL ready to go. And we're out of here. 780 again, three fuels good and a drone part, and they're pretty low uh, rewards. I mean, we're not going to get any benefit from hitting the store here, but we might as well do it. There's not a lot we can buy. Um, you know, 20 more and we could pick up one of these rockmen, but. Yeah, it's, it's not really an option. Um, no, this is going to put us into the exact same position as last time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you thinking fire, but don't. Um, all right, that's cool. We picked up. What's the difference between this and this? Only takes one um, battery. That's a good start. Does two damage. Just one shot that can cause breach fire or stun. I mean, this is going to be really handy once we upgrade our weapons a bit. Rebel controlled or pirate controlled? I think pirate means we can see more slavers, which means we've got a chance of getting one more crew member. I want a really, like, big recruiting drive at the moment, I know, but I think this will be good. Uh, let's, let's do the distress beacon first in case it's a quest marker. Not doing these giant alien spiders. I, I'm sure I could probably get a good reward for it, but it just, it just screams trap. Search for the ship. Uh, okay, boy, it's crap. Let's get a little bit ahead of the um, the rebels here. No, pretty uh, bland start to this sector. We're we gonna fight anyone? Slaver. Okay, cool. So this was the whole logic behind picking this. Um, picking this sector. So if we can pick up, I don't know if we necessarily get one of the two people that we can see on there, because I hope not, because we've already got both of those um, races. Let's save the, set the missile for now. Actually, let's power that down, power this one up. Okay, that's smart. We're not going to use the missile, we can use the power from there. Yes, uh, it's a mantis, but that's okay. This is going to be, this is going to be like the A-team of, of raiding these two these two mantis here, once I get crew teleporter, um, these guys are going to do some serious damage to other ships, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's heal that up. And then heal this guy up, once he's prepared that. So you can just go there. Keep the ball rolling. That's healed. Come back to the station. He's nearly back up. There's no store nearby. 
got to be careful because if I spend our scrap and we find a teleporter, I'll be annoyed because these guys are basically sitting here doing nothing at the moment. I really wanted to get out there and, you know, crumbobulous Mike with the whole situation. Um, so let's see if there's a store. Third distress beacon. Okay. We want to go here first in case one of these is a store. I think we do. But to fight, um, let's power up the missile first so we can put the missile and the burst laser on the shield. Then we're going to take the missile down, put the heavy laser up and do damage to their weapon um, while the burst laser keeps peppering, peppering away at the shield. It's going to look a pretty good plan in my head anyway. Um, so Tick that down, put that up. Burst laser keeps doing shields, heavy laser hits weapons. It needs to wait, does it? I don't know which one's going to go up first. Um, I think the first laser, yes, yeah, will be fine. Cool. That's okay, the first laser's going to finish this off. Ooh. Do something. These guys literally haven't done a thing since they got here. Eating our food. Um, 14 scrap. Missile. Nah, if I'm gonna get anything, I want it to be fuel, we're not gonna accept surrender. No fuel, but an extra missile and double the scrap. So, that's that's a good outcome. Um, you and you, heal yourself, and these guys repair terribly, it's part of being a mantis. Um, everyone can nearly jump back to their station, but so these guys finish their job. You can go in, and everyone back. Cool. So if there's no store, let's get that second level of shields, I reckon, um, with this 90 scrap, but there's a store. Can we go to that one? Or would we rather go there and hit both distress beacons? I reckon we would. It's going to be more of a reward in, in the two distress beacons than just hitting that random. Um, outpost, crew teleporter, 90. I know, I know we talked about it, but do I want this rock man? Nah, he's not good at anything, except the crew, the crew teleporter. Because I guess that does go one towards our um, getting eight systems achievement anyway. So this isn't a bad result. We're gonna run out of fuel. No, we'll be okay. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting through. Want to help them? Definitely not. Two fuel, a missile, um, and 32 scrap. That's like a really good result. Go down to the surface. I don't know whether that means I can lose a crew member because I don't want to. Oh no, 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 no. Ah. I can't do this anyway because I'm at maximum crew and I think there's a chance that something bad happens because he's a madman. Let's just leave him. And hit one more before we get out. It's going well, 23 minutes in, I'm pretty happy. Uh, attack the slave of scum. I can't... Okay, let's take down the med bay, put one into missiles, hit the shield with the missile and the burst, because what it's going to do is a fair bit of damage to this guy, then we're going to beam him in, take the ship. Sounds pretty badass. Got an ion. Please don't hit something. It missed anyway. Okay, that's good. He's half health. Beam these two dudes in. If I micro it fine, this is going to go really well. Yep. Oh god! I forgot I can kill my own people. You have to dismiss a crew member. Okay. Okay. I'll just dis dismiss like the most useless human. Definitely not him because he's nearly leveled up weapons. What has this guy done since he got here? Absolutely nothing. Good. Except now, am I going to lose one of these guys because they're like blowing up? Oh, it missed! It missed! That would have killed him! 
That's really lucky. I think we're finally catching a break. Um, you, know, you guys need to get into the same room. And then I can beam you back. And power that down, power the midway up. Go heal yourself. I've got a rock man. I'm pretty happy about that. He's going to be my fire extinguisher. You can man the doors, actually. That's what the old guy was doing, but he will be the fire extinguisher. And these guys can go back to their war chamber. And what are we up to? We're up to five different races, am I right? Yeah. Cool. So we get to a shop now that has... Um, what's the other type we're missing? We've got Mantis, we've got Soul Town, we've got Engie, we've got Rockman. Um, I know I'm missing, like, something obvious. But we got six. One, two, three, four, five, no five. We need to get rid of one of the humans eventually. This is okay. Save positions, good, jump, exit, perfect. Really good sector, really good sector. Uh, except we don't have fuel. Inquire about their specialty. Please have something. Upgrade sensors. Alright, but I don't have fuel. And we're about to have a big fight. Why do I do this to myself? I'm gonna have to put the distress beacon on and wait. Oh, this is awful. This is awful, 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 awful. They've got three shields! Okay. Stay calm, stay calm. I just need to play this slow enough. I need to fight. I need to fight in rooms of two. That's what I need to do. Midway down. Like, these two mantis. Like, the fate, the fate of our run lies with these two mantis. Let's get them in here, get them to start doing damage. It's taken the weapons guy down, which is good. And we're doing damage here. And then what we're going to do is these two guys, once they clear out a view of the ship, they're going to get a kill off here? No, 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 it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Everything is going pretty badly. Have I just blown this? I have. I need to bring him back, I think. Yeah, 22, 26 health. We're dead, like... We've got no fuel, we have to win this fight. <laughs> do we have any options? No, we really don't, do we? Weapons are down. I'm gonna need these guys to run. I need to bring them back, try and heal them, and then send them out again. This is, yeah, we're gone. We're gone. Ah, alright, easy it is. This was going so well again, and I ran out of fuel because I said we'd be fine, and we weren't fine. Um, that's really disappointing. I'm. I'm as disappointed as you are, I'm probably more disappointed because I thought that was going really well. Thanks for checking out episode 3 of Firebird Plays FTL. I uh, really appreciate you guys stopping by and staying with the series this long. I hope it's entertaining, I hope you're enjoying it. I look forward to your feedback uh, in the comment section below. Um, and I'll see you for episode 4 shortly. Thanks guys, bye.